Enter every day on Local 3's Facebook page. Let's talk putting you in the house of your dreams this morning because once you find it, then you've got to get the mortgage and all the paperwork done to actually get you in it. So luckily for us, Bruce Dobb with Chat Mortgage takes time out of his busy week to talk to us about once a month here on the show and we get him today. Good talking to you this morning, Bruce. Hey, it's always good talking to you, so especially sometimes... after we got over our technological snafus. Yeah. So it was awesome. We had some snafus, but Bruce is a man of many hidden talents and uh, determination and perseverance is one of those. So he didn't give up. Uh, he got the job done. <laughs> I guess that's part of it in the mortgage yeah, figured, industry, right? We figured it out. We figured it out. So sometimes you and I talk and we're just talking kind of trends you're seeing in the market. This time there's something new for buyers. Yeah, so, yeah, so, um, you know, every once in a while the government does something that's awesome. And so one of the programs, <laughs> it's been around forever. I've been doing them for 35 years, FHA loans. Uh, FHA loans have just gotten a little better. Um, and it's at, at a great time for them to make the changes that they have. So what they've done is they have reduced the cost of an FHA loan. Um, one of the things that happens anytime you get a mortgage and you're not putting down over 20%, you have something called mortgage insurance. And so they just reduced dramatically FHA's version of mortgage insurance. They didn't drop it in half, but it's pretty close to half. And um, so it really makes FHA a lot more attractive right now. Okay, so give me an example. Let's say that in the old days, there was a scenario where somebody was buying a $250,000 house versus well, let's, today. Let's, let's say the, the median sales price in Chattanooga is about 300. Okay. It's about 300. Um, and so if somebody was buying the median sales price, the only reason I'm changing the number is I know this one in my head, 250, I'd have to bust out a calculator. That's fair. But if it was $300,000, a borrower would save about $75 a month wow. um, with just the change. To put that in perspective, if you reduce the interest rate a half a percent, it'd be about $90 a month. So it's almost like getting a half a percent lower in rate. Okay. Now, if you were, because interest rates right now are kind of high, um, if we get lucky and they should go down again for a homeowner uh, and somebody chooses to refinance, are they going to lose that savings on the FHA side of things? Well, so, so the, I'm glad you brought up refinances because it's the other wonderful thing about FHA. FHA has something called a streamlined refinance. Um, FHA says, hey, you know, we've guaranteed your loan because that's the way it works with an FHA loan. The government guarantees the loan to the lender. And so we've guaranteed the loan. And if you're making your payments fine now, well, you're going to do better if the payment goes down. So if rates go down, you can refinance it in a very streamlined way, hmm. hence the name of the program, an FHA Streamline Refinance. Nice. So it makes it a super easy way to refinance it. And then you'd lower the interest rate and continue with the low mortgage insurance. So am I, okay, let me ask you this. Why have they done it? Why have they done it? Because rates are high. Okay. Because rates are high. Um, it's an number incentive. One. Number two, um, what that, the, the FHA's mortgage, what they call mortgage insurance premium, what that does is it helps defray the cost of any defaults. Um, so if the government has to guarantee that loan, if they have to fulfill that obligation. Well, over the last few years, foreclosures have not been a big deal because one has really had to stop paying attention to let their house get foreclosed on because you could sell a house so easy. So somebody runs into trouble, they can just sell it. And so foreclosures have not been a big part of the landscape for a while. Mm. So what the government's done is they said, hey, we can do two things. One is we can lower costs, but we more appropriately can show what the, what the, the insurance essentially that, that that is, what that should cost because there's so many less foreclosures. Okay, am I right or am I wrong that there was a time where if you were a seller and two people came to you to buy the house, one conventional loan, one FHA, you would generally go with the conventional loan. Is there a bad well, that's, understanding? Well, that still can be the case. However, part of that is an education thing. Um, conventional loans, 
the first thought is, hey, it takes less time to do a conventional loan. For me, I could do an FHA loan just as fast as I can do a conventional loan. So that's not that's not the case. Oh. The other side of it is FHA has more requirements around property. Uh, they have, you know, you can't really have deferred a lot of deferred maintenance. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times, that's really not even a concern. Mm -hmm. um, you know that, that we don't have a lot of those kind of things. So it still can be an issue. But the reality is for people that need FHA because of its down payment or some of the other attributes, right. FHA just got a whole lot better. Okay, so because if you're buying a fixer-upper, for example, FHA might not be the way to go. May not be the way to go. Okay. May but, not be the way to go. But this is, I would think that, Bruce, this is going to be very appealing for, like you mentioned, the first time younger home buyer out there because if you've been renting a place and your rent has gone up and up and up it's not easy to get that money saved no, no it well and the reality of it too is a lot of times first time home buyers ain't so young that's a lot right of times that's first true time too. Home buyers ain't so young um, some people just buy houses later in life with fha it doesn't have to be your first time sometimes people will use fha over and over again mm -hmm. and it's this, this reduction is going to become make FHA in some ways a little bit more attractive because Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are doing some changes in May that for some people will make those products a little bit more expensive because they've got some new adjustments to price. I didn't want it. This is a little wonky. But um, after May, F uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are both saying, hey, if you're the percentage that you owe or your debt to income ratio is over a certain amount, then we think you're a little riskier. And so we're going to add some to the rate. Mm. So that comes into play in May. So it may really be for some people that may have done a conventional loan in the past, mm -hmm. FHA may be a little bit more attractive from a monthly payment standpoint. Okay. So with the 30 seconds I have left, let me show people how to get in touch with you at Chat Mortgage, because what he'll do is unless you happen to also be an expert, he's going to guide you through what he thinks is the best way for you to approach your home buy. Is that right, Bruce? Absolutely, absolutely. And here's the thing. Uh, we try to make the, you know, getting a mortgage kind of stinks. We try to make it stink as little as possible. And uh, <laughs> we think you'll have a good time dealing with it. All right. Chatmortgage.com. You will have a good time dealing with them. 591-9801 on East Brainerd Road. Thank you, friend. Hey, thank you. Take care. Julia, what are you doing? We have a commercial to film. I'm taking a break. <laughs> breaks are what we're telling people about. Budget breaks. Visit budgetbreaks.com.